Welcome to the program, uh, Eric July, who I called, I think, at the beginning of the show, uh, the king of burn it all down. <laughs> Is that accurate? I'm putting that in my bio after the show. <laughs> yeah, the king of king burn, of it, burn all it all down. down. I liked it. Eric liked July, it. of course, Plays TV <laughs> contributor and founder of Ripiverse Comics. Um, and you could not have been joining us on a more appropriate day <laughs> for Eric July to be here because we heard news today, you know, um, MTG had intended to file a motion to vacate for Speaker Mike Johnson um, because, you know, it seems that we get all of these speakers of the House who don't want to represent their constituency or the grassroots. And she has now an, an ally in Representative Thomas Massey who said he will be joining her in her effort to strip Johnson of his speakership. And he, uh, he spoke a little bit more on this matter. Thomas Massey did earlier today. Here's what he had to say. There's only one person right now who can stop us from going into what happened last fall, and that's Mike Johnson. He's cleaning the barn, that's obvious. So you want him to resign? You want him to resign? Yes. Yeah, I asked him to resign. And what did he say? What did he, say? he said he would not. And then I said, well, you're the one who's going to put us into this. Because the motion is going to get called, okay? Does anybody doubt that? The motion will get called, and then he's going to lose more votes <laughs> than Kevin McCarthy. And I have told him this in private, like, weeks ago. We have popcorn. I just... <laughs> uh, OK, so I want to play Mike Johnson responding to this, saying, I'm not resigning. This is this is crazy. This is absurd that you guys would suggest that I resign because, you know, I'm not I'm like pushing for more foreign aid to Ukraine and all of these other places without pushing for our own border security measures. Please, I'm not resigning. Watch. Mr. Speaker, what is what is your response to Republicans who say this move should cost you your job and that if you don't resign, they will try to oust you? Uh, I am not resigning. And it is um, it is, in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion when we are simply here trying to do our jobs. Um, it is not helpful to the cause. It is not helpful to the country. It is not help. The House Republicans advance our agenda, which is in the best interest of the American people here, a secure border, uh, sound governance. Uh -huh. uh, and it's not helpful to the unity that we have in, in the body. Let me ask you this, Eric. Uh, is it helpful that Speaker Johnson decided to bring four foreign aid and national security bills to the floor that would fund Ukraine, Israel, Indo-Pacific and not include border security measures? Is that is that helpful for the American people? Would you, would you call that part of your particular uh, priority to fund all of these foreign aid bills without any national security measures, without border security measures? Is that your idea of a good speakership, good leadership for the American people? I think he might forget that he isn't president or he isn't speaker of Ukraine. Well, I feel like it wasn't that long ago. Was it we, we were we on the other set when when he first got in. Yeah, I believe we were. Yes, doesn't feel like that long ago. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody I remember had had reservations. Um, he was saying maybe the right things at the time, but people had had the re reservations, mm -hmm. rightfully, including us. That that's the point. Yep. And I will say that at least to me, maybe some of our viewers disagree. If you are on the opposite side of Massey on anything, you are taking the wrong position. <laughs> Am I a little biased there because he is the one person that's in the house that has uh, views that are closest to mine? Yeah, absolutely. And he oftentimes is correct. He has the voting record also to back up his said correctness. A lot of the things that we gripe and complain about with uh, the rep representatives, particularly in the Republican Party, uh, uh, voting against uh, the uh, the ideas of the, the the their constituents or the American people, and, and guys like Massey seem to be consistent on that issue um, far more than what the Republicans are, generally speaking. So that off rip for me does it. Yeah, you're on the opposite side of Massey. You're on the wrong side <laughs> off rip. There's not that many people I would say that with Ron when he was in office. Uh, for sure, I would say that if you're on the opposite side of Ron Paul, you probably are taking the wrong position. But this is what what I do want to have a substance of conversation about. OK, let's say he gets ousted rightfully. I want to know the direction that the American people want the uh, Republican Party to to go in. Now, for me, 
I want them to, I want them, I would prefer, you're the party of the two dominant parties, at least so you tell me, that does at least value individual liberty. Mm -hmm. So you tell me. So you tell me. So you tell me, Mm -hmm. you're the one that actually prioritized that. And maybe you can even say that you've shown that with who you've elected. There is no Massey equivalent in the Democratic Party. There is no Rand Paul equivalent in the Democratic Party. There was certainly no Ron Paul equivalent. There was no Amash uh, uh, equivalent. Uh, There were people that would sway uh, on any given subject that may have been Democrats, like what Bernie did with the audit the Fed bill back in the gap with Ron Paul, where it's like, oh, wait, he has the right position. Oh, now he's taking the opposite position. So there's a bunch of those going around. But I, what I don't understand is that the American people seem to want more or less, more or less to li- align themselves with the Masseys of the world, with the Rand Pauls of the world. And Rand, of course, got it all correct on the whole COVID thing as well. And I'm like, why don't you guys follow that guy? Mm-hmm. But then every time there is the rubber meets the road, there's a time to have a vote for a new speaker or, or, or what have you. And then you get these milk toast guys that are supposedly representing the party. I can't quite wrap my mind uh, around that because to me, it seems obvious. The people should at least. And, and it seems like arguably they do want to go in the direction that of the vote, those that value individual individual liberty, not <laughs> stealing from people to subsidize foreign countries. Why is it so difficult for folks to focus on that? And I mean, top to bottom with who you elect, um, with, with what ideals you want to prioritize going into an election season. I don't un- quite understand. I can't quite wrap my mind around it. Well, what's so frustrating, too, is, you know, I mean, you talk about we had this conversation, as you point out on the other set. We had this conversation when it was happening that, like, we could have had a Byron Donalds who has like 100 percent liberty score yeah. at Conservative Review. Uh, you could have we could have had Jim Jordan, who I believe has a 90 something percent uh, liberty score. We could have had th- name these other people who threw their hat into the ring that we could have had. And instead, they picked Mike Johnson, who has 74% liberty score. Okay, why? Why do we do that? Because at the end of the day, what do the Democrats do when they get into power? They nominate and elect Nancy freaking Pelosi to jam down all of their agenda down the Republicans' throats, whether you like it or not. Do you think that Nancy Pelosi is milk toast or middle of the road or close. focused on bipartisanship? Of course not. That's the point. You need to elect someone who is not focused on bipartisanship, who is focused on the agenda and priorities of their party, of their constituents. And for some reason, Republicans keep not understanding that. It's just, it it blows my mind. It it really does because like, let's go back in time a little bit. The COVID thing happened and there was a Senator that was ahead of it. That really was holding uh, Fauci's feet to the fire. Even the president, former president, uh, if it came down to it on some of these issues and you'll you'll see like a lot of Republicans or people that tend to vote for Republicans are like, oh, man, that guy really gets it on, on this subject. And, you know, the next year it will be another subject. And maybe it's Massey talking about X, Y and Z. And I just like to me, that's telling like, OK, you guys support these people, these uh, guys and their ideals. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, they are a minority. I will say that in the party. That doesn't mean that you haven't had folks that will either run uh, under those ideas, I think maybe we pay too much or, or people that tend to vote Republicans or not me, but people <laughs> pay pay too much attention to like the lip service of it all yeah. as opposed to their actual voting records. Right. Believe it or not, you have a caucus that values liberty. They and, and all, they, there, there's the uh, center Lees of the world. There are uh, there are a few House guys that that um, uh, that. that seem to have a more libertarian oriented uh, uh, mind state when it comes to voting for certain even Gates is is miles better than yeah. basically everybody everybody else it is unfortunately a minority in the party so to me I think it's going to have to come from if Republicans or people that vote conservative really want to change this it's for sure going to come with flipping some tables and look maybe it does have to come at the cost of not getting your way for a short period of time. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I, I'm okay with that. I, I'm I'm per, I me personally, I, I I'm fine with that. Yeah. I think you should be fine with it. You take a L for for right now, but man, it's rooted so deep with these clowns that 
don't care about you. They don't care about liberty. They don't care about lowering your damn taxes. They don't care about, and we're in tax season right now, so I'm especially mm. pissed off. Yeah. Uh, at it, I pay quarterly, and yep. Jesus Christ, the amount of money that I had to give this criminal organization it, pisses yes. me off. If, if, and I contend, I have said this for years, Eric, if people, if everyone had to pay quarterly taxes the way that we have to, and they didn't get it taken out of their checks, yeah. There would be riots in the streets True. over this because they're too like they don't understand how much they're actually paying when it comes out of their paycheck and they never see it. Yep. If they actually had to physically write the check that you and I have to write, they'd be like, oh, my God, this is extortion. Yes, it, 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 <laughs> and when you see these uh, clowns uh, uh, focusing on the issues that they focus on, it will make you even yes. more irate. Yes. That's what it does for me. Yes. It's not it, it's a combination. It's, yeah, I'm getting robbed. And then these guys are talking about subject matters I care absolutely nothing about. And they aren't prioritizing me trying to keep the money with uh, uh, in, in my own pockets, which. Oh, man, I hate to talk about going around about economics, but it's true. Individuals like us are the people that are going to better the lives of those around us because we're the ones that generally employ other people, right? right? And if I had just a smidgen of that money that I could keep, that would mean more books. That would mean, uh, which means more opportunity for our artists, more, more opportunity for our warehousing guys. And instead, where is it going? Where is it going? Because Texas itself, maybe in the property I get taxed, but I don't get my income uh, taxed, right? So I'm paying a lot of these taxes to these clowns right now that, I don't know, well, you're sending want it to give money to Ukraine right, and Israel to, and everybody else. Zelensky, yeah, who um, was like an actor. Uh, he's a great belly dancer, I hear. So Thank money God. well spent, Eric. Yeah, money. Congratulations. Money. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm I'm on the moon right now. It's it's also going to fund all sorts of conflict, both sides of conflict. Oh, yeah, all that, across the I mean, globe. That's all the so time, right? You're, you're usually funding. Both We're part giving of money the money to Iran and to Israel yes, yes. to fight each other in some way, and then, and yeah. then somehow there's a there's some uprising, and you found out that you were actually funding right. funding them the uprising right. as well. Yeah, you were yeah. funding them as well. That's great. Wow. So tax money going to very good use, Eric. Yeah, so All right, me. congratulations. What America. about roads? What about those damn roads? They tell me. <laughs> did you see that? Yes, I did. Uh, see you yes, on that. someone that someone I I tweeted out the you know taxation is theft and the IRS is a criminal organization and this guy was like but what about the roads um, <laughs> i was like my friend eric july has a word about them ho ass roads I have words plenty of words about the damn roads man. um so yeah well i mean we'll see what happens with this i just matt when matt gates did this the first time the motion to vacate kevin mccarthy i said the same thing which was look it, like maybe we need a little instability to get us more stable at the end of the day, right? Because if we set the precedent, if we get it, if we get you in there and you don't do your damn job and you don't prioritize our priorities, you're freaking done. Oh. And you're going to be embarrassed in front of the entire country. Do you want that? Oh. Maybe that's the precedent that's that needs I, to be set. I'm being dead serious. I know. For the American people that are out there, maybe that's what needs to happen. You I really a, you think take so. take a short loss, but in the long, at least in the long run, it will benefit you. Exactly. Sure. Exactly. I totally agree. We're all for the chaos <laughs> here. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on. You know you do. Click here.